Hey guys, it is Brooke from The Junk Parlor. Welcome to my channel. So today is Thursday and that means we are going thrifting. Today I'm on the hunt for a few things. I'm looking for some brass pieces, some copper pieces. I'm looking for some art, preferably something on the little bit smaller side. I'm still looking for some picnic baskets to put in my mudroom lockers and the little cubbies. And of course, I'm always looking for green things. I also would like to get some more antlers, um, probably like uh, some deer ones that are mounted on the backboards. I'm probably not using the correct terminology, but I would like to get a few more of those. And then I also think that here between the dining room area, even though it's all open in one big space in the living room, there's a little section and I think I would like to get probably chest height to head height, uh, like a drawer piece, like a cool card catalog or something. And I have kind of been looking for that for a while, but still looking for that and or a bar cart. Now I do want the bar cart to be on the taller side and I feel like everything that I've seen that kind of has the look or style that I think I might like in this space, they're all really low and I definitely want something taller. So I'm a little bit particular in what I get. I'd also like to find a big cloche. I've bought a couple over the years and I would like to buy a couple more. And then my mom has me on the hunt for some frogs. She doesn't really care what they look like. She's wanting to put them in her flower beds. I have probably since she's asked me to look for frogs, seen just a couple and they've all been teeny tiny. So I think she needs something a little bit more substantial or you're never going to see it because when her flower bed grows out, it's like all flowers. So anyway, on the hunt for frogs. Let's see how we do today. So before we go thrifting today, we have to make a couple of stops. One to UPS because Brooke failed and I had a whole bunch of packages to ship out on Monday and I left one in my basement and I just noticed it this morning. So I reached out, messaged the girl, apologized, but I feel so bad. I just set hers on a different side than I set everybody else's and forgot about it. UPS and then we're going to go to the post office and then we're going to go to our first stop thrifty flea. I grew up on a dairy farm so I am always interested in cow photos, prints, artwork. This was a good price but it's a little bit bigger than the artwork I'm looking for for my own house and I love black memorabilia so this one I thought was beautiful. I love the neutral colors. Again, a little bit too big for my own house. And right now I feel like I have a lot of art in the shop. Hey, we found a frog, but guess what? It's teeny tiny. It's only a dollar, but again, I just don't think you'd even see it in her flower bed. Now, I have a rule that just because something is cheap doesn't mean I need to buy it, and these pictures are a great example of that. I actually do like this landscape one, and I really love both of the frames, but they are so narrow that I really don't think that I have any artwork or photos that would go in them and be usable 
This calendar that's framed for $8 is another great deal with some old advertising on it, but it just wasn't my style. This pot is ginormous. I hope you can tell by my hand how big it is, and it is priced $3.25 for this Roseville. Oh, Gary's was good to me today. Can't wait to show you everything that I got. Okay, now we are at the St. Vincent de Paul 6th Avenue location. So it's really close to the hospital and I am loving that it's kind of warm out today and I'm, I'm thinking it's probably 40, <laughs> but the sun's out and it's not crazy windy and it's supposed to get up to 56 today because during the warm weather, they have basically a garage sale. So everything's like a quarter or super, super, super cheap. I think they collect things from all the locations that have not sold. They bring them here and then they do these little garage sales just to get rid of stuff. So I've only ever bought a handful of things um, from the garage sale because I'm not into clothes and I'm not a digger for clothes but you never know what you're gonna find because they do put furniture and hard goods out here as well. You can hear one of the workers in the background talking to people about coming to the yard sale and she actually is a follower of mine. I love this mirror. The chairs are also pretty awesome. They are constantly rearranging the store. So they must've got a ton of fabric in and it wouldn't fit in the old spot. So they moved it over here. I have been checking to add to my sports themed coffee table books and at 75 cents for this hardcover book, I just can't pass it up. I love that once I take off that cover, it just has a simple text that will go with my sports stuff. If you've been following my channel for very long, then you know my mom collects blue stoneware pottery. So I definitely check this out for her. It does have some weird brown staining and it is very heavily cracked. It wasn't even marked, so I just left it behind. I love green, my mom loves blue. She would love this in her sink window as well. This is a very large Milk and Magnesia blue bottle. Birds are always popular. This little candle holder was cute. Nice uh, studio pottery piece with the birds, but I went ahead and left it behind. I liked it, but it just wasn't like a screaming, you gotta take me home. I don't buy milk glass vases anymore, but I always check the prices just to see because a thrift store can have them up to like $6 a vase. These cuties are from the Dolly Co. I've had this set and others similar. The silver casserole dish holder is a great thing to repurpose. You can set a platter on it or some kind of rectangular plate and use it as a riser. You can also put your books in it vertically and use it as a book holder. So even though I think this is the leftover stuff from the other thrift stores, I still think it's great stuff. I mean, that little winter coat is cute. The camp chair was cute. The sweater is cute. No, there's still lots of treasures to find. And it's cheap, like a quarter. And hey, my brother-in-law was wearing one of these at Easter.
Okay, so we are, I only got a couple books at St. Vincent de Paul, but that's okay. Got a lot at the other place. And now we're gonna go to DAV. They open at 10 o'clock. Normally there is a line, so it just kind of depends on how long I shop at the first two places because this is my typical short drifting route on Thursdays. It depends on how fast I shop at the other places. Sometimes I'm after 10 o'clock getting to DAV. Sometimes I am early getting to DAV. And if I am early, every time there is probably about 10 people who are there waiting in line, ready to go in the thrift store as soon as the door opens. I do love that they bedazzle their sign every holiday season. I don't know why, but I really like these little like mercury glass, mini cloches. I'm not sure what they actually are supposed to be, but you could tie some pretty ribbon on them and make them Christmas ornaments. You could also tie them all together and do like a bundle, like uh, pretend bells. So sometimes I just play a game in my head, like, is this old or new? <laughs> and then I'll flip it over to see if it has a barcode or not. Oh my goodness, I'm in love with this color. It's like a bluish greenish color. This is the only piece that I found that like it, but if I could find a set of glasses, I would definitely get them. And then these little things, I think they're grabbers. After studying it a little bit, it must be for hard boiled eggs maybe, or poached eggs, but I like the little tongs. And while I personally would never put this in my house, I was so tempted to buy it. And I don't even know why, but I'm like, this was somebody's project. They made it with love and it's just quirky and different. And I'm sure it would look super cool in somebody's house, just not mine. One thing DAV does that's a little bit different is they take their new donations and they throw them back here in these bins so that people can dig through them just kind of like they do at Goodwill bins and they always have tons of golf clubs and crutches. Walking down this aisle, my shoulder literally hits both sides, but I did spy this nice blanket hand done. The texture is actually a little bit rough, but if you were just going to set it over a chair for some you know, decoration, it's a great buy. And it had the little like homemade label by Betty and turns out you can actually buy those and stitch them on. This shadow box with beans and miniatures was just too weird not to show you. I'm really liking this set of glasses. They feel good in your hands. They've got some weight to them, a unique shape. I just wish they were like my green or a bluish color. And there was a set of six. Is it just me or does it look like somebody took a drill and made this a uh, slotted spoon? And what do you think this pig was used for? I actually guessed correct and I confirmed my guess with a little Google search. I spent almost an hour at DAV, which is pretty much unheard of, but they kept putting new stuff out and so I kept staying. And then when I was getting ready to go get in line for the checkout, they announced that they were doing buy one, get one free clothing and shoes. So I really kind of need a top for Hello Iowa because pretty much my mom said the colors that I have been wearing are not the most flattering. Now, if you know me very well, I, do not have very many articles of clothing 
pretty much when I stopped teaching, I got rid of everything and I wore junky workout clothes, paint clothes all the time. And now I've thrown away most of those really, really bad clothes, but I still haven't replaced them with much of anything. I was looking through to see if maybe I could find something um, that would work, but I, got, I grabbed a shirt and I talked myself out of getting it because I couldn't find anything else for the buy one, get one free. But then I was like, who even cares about getting something else? Just buy the damn shirt because they're t-shirts, not t-shirts, their short sleeve shirts are $2 each, but I talked myself out of it. I was like, I won't wear it. It would have been flattering for the radio or radio. It would have been flattering for the TV, I think, but I don't know. I talked myself out of it, put that back and I got the junk. Then we drove over here to Collectomania, which is an old bowling alley that they have like one little chunk is for a weekly auction, I think on Wednesday night that I have yet to ever come to. And then the rest is kind of like an indoor flea market. So everybody has booths and um, it's a little bit of everything. They have food and jewelry and toys and cars and art and old stuff, new stuff, basically whatever a vendor chooses to bring in. This is the booth where I got the little side table for beside my front door. I spotted these scotch tins, but they were a little bit more than I wanted to spend on them. And I actually have talked to this vendor before. She just moved to the area. She got a booth here at Brass Armadillo and I think one other spot. I'm weird. I know. I liked these like wax covered pine cones for some reason. I thought maybe they were priced separately, but I think they just come with this little coal bucket. Oh, I think this basket's a little cutie. It's small. Only $2. basket behind them also caught my eye. It's only $3. There is some damage. But it would still look cute on a shelf. Oh, someone must have known we just came back from Hawaii. I think this vendor did a great job making sure you understood that they were 50% off. Look at all the signs. And yes, I did look longer because of those signs.
Now this is kind of the size and color that I'm looking for for that space between the dining room and living room. It's tall and it's narrow and you have to get the key from the front, but I'm guessing it opens and it has some cubbies in it. It's just not quite the style that I'm wanting, but it's close. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I turned the corner and I found this awesome trifold mirror. It is perfect for what I'm wanting. Ever since I did a tour of Jody's house, and I'll link it here, I've wanted to find one of these and copy what she did. Okay, I'm really hopeful that my videotaping is not too shaky today because I could definitely feel my blood sugar was dropping and even now I have the shakes. But I scored an, uh, another good haul here at Collectomania. I spent a lot of money today, but I haven't been for three, four weeks thrifting. So I'm thinking that one, maybe things that I normally buy have just been sitting there waiting for me to get them this whole time or I'm just in the buying mode because I haven't bought anything lately. I don't know, but I do think that I got some good things. Mm -hmm. 